hello there Libras welcome to your reading so um, I feel like the energy for the rest of this month is gonna be a little bit up and down okay and there will be periods of highs and lows so I just want you to kind of like keep that in mind you know it, it, it is the natural progression the nat natural energetic exchange in our environment and I feel like you know it's going to be a little bit ebb, ebb and flow okay um the first thing that i'm seeing which is a little bit strange is um i see this dollhouse right and and you kind of have like a cross section of the dollhouse where you can see inside first floor second floor etc but it's not a house it's an office building and um you see like on the first floor there's like mail clerk, people that deliver mail, deliver packages, deliver equipment, inventory, etc. The second floor, it's like the number cruncher. So it's like the analyst, the, um, the accountants. The third floor is like the white collar people where they're at their offices or at their cubicles uh, doing a little bit more, I want to say important stuff, uh, a little bit. They're doing things that are more visible to the public and they're dealing with the public. And then you have the fourth floor, which is like the supervisors, the manager, and then the fifth floor, which is the high power executives or the um, directors or, you know, whoever is in charge of that company, that organization. And um, I see a hand coming in. So keep in mind, it's still like a dollhouse. Um, somebody's like moving people around moving furniture around from the first floor to the fifth floor from the fifth floor to the uh, fourth floor etc so I feel like this denotes to me some massive 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 restructuring in your work environment so I'm feeling that and I feel like for many of you it might be at a point where you're not sure it's like there are so many changes happening and you're not really sure if it's good changes you're not really sure what the end result is going to look like some of you might feel like i don't feel you losing your job but you're kind of like are they consolidating my position are they splitting up my position and you know creating two jobs are they going to make my uh, position redundant or, uh, you know, is so-and-so that I'm working for still going to be here? Are they going to be let go? Who is, you know, not carrying their weight? I feel like there are a lot of things, a lot of strings pulled behind the scenes, okay? And it's it's almost like the, the forces of change are a lot bigger than you. And so it seems almost like you feel a little bit like a cog in the machine. You feel a little bit like a pawn. You feel like your fate might be resting in somebody else's hands. And you feel like the situation you might not have um, any control over. And that's a little bit kind of like unsettling. And so I feel like there's this, uh, at the same time, the, the excitement and the apprehension that's coming in your environment and you're just like I'm not sure what these changes are gonna look like you know once they're done implementing all of these changes all of these personnel reshuffling all of these you know movement and restructuring at the end of the day or at the end when they're done at the end of the process what is there left um, for me where is my where am I gonna be what is it going to look like? And I feel like you're trying to, you know, bypass the steps to get to the end, just to have a little bit more clarity and a little bit more uh, certainty. Okay, so I feel like there's a definitely a lack of certainty here, as it relates to your work situation. I definitely feel your job is safe. I feel like the changes are for the better. And I feel like these uh, structural changes was something that they wanted to do a while ago. So it just so happens that, you know, now's the time, mainly because maybe some things are happening from the top down and they're just like, well, while the top people are, are restructuring, we might as well restructure internally too. So it's like a trickle down effect. And I feel like, you know, these are changes that were much needed, that needed to be, um, made a while ago and i feel like you know maybe the number crunchers the analysts the people that um 
make the predictions or the projection they finally you know finish their work and they're like here's what here's how much you're going to save by restructuring the the work environment or reorganizing personnel or shuffling things around here's how much the company or the organization is going to save and so maybe you know they're done with that process and then as a result the changes are happening right now and so i feel like don't fret over it okay allow the the transition to naturally take place you guys are generally very very good at what you do you're very diligent with your work you are also incredibly you know you're you're very talented and i feel like if you've been working really hard if you've been you know doing your due diligence to make sure that you don't slack off make sure that you don't um um, that you do your job to the best of your capabilities I feel like there's no need to fear this process enjoy the process and allow the restructuring to happen okay um, I'm gonna pull out let me see can we do two more so there's another image that I am uh, feeling for you guys and uh, I see this woman she's wearing like a um, she's wearing like a sports bra and you know like a sports bra she's at a park she has her headphones on she's running and she's wearing uh, like a a close fitting um shirt and and um like jogger shorts and she's running she's running at a park she's minding her own business and she so happens to pass by this area where there's a lot of exercise equipment this is at a park she's passing by these two men and they're looking at her and they're like oogling her okay and so I feel like that can be really annoying so I don't know if you're getting oogled at I don't know if like um, people are like coming to you wanting to talk to you leering at you or just like thirsting after you maybe in an environment that might not be appropriate okay so like while you're you know running around doing all your chores doing your groceries or even running at the park running at the gym whatever it is while you're busy occupied with something and you know um focusing on self-care all these people are coming out of the woodwork and just kind of wanting your attention at very inopportune times that's what it feels like to me and so I feel I, I do feel a certain degree of um, frustration from some of you because the people are coming in and I feel like they're just you know coming at you and making their feelings so known at very opportune moments okay so I, I'm sensing already this is gonna be a very very busy you know latter half of April 2019 for you I feel like many of you uh, might be a little bit stressed out at work you're taking care of yourself you're you know exercising dieting and um, I feel like you know the, the the woman she might be jogging at the park just to for her mental health for her mental well-being to clear her head after a potentially stressful day at work and she just wants to be left alone and these people are just you know like oogling her and so I feel like in a way it's like you're very much focused on this for some of you who are single you're focusing on self-care you're focusing on work you're you're focusing on really finding your solid ground and your your grounding and I feel like you know um, suitors and people that may might be taking a huge interest in you they're coming in at a, at a time where you love the single life you want to be single or you might just you know have a lot on your plate already and you might not feel like you have the time uh, to date okay so so that's what I'm sensing here and I pulled out these two cards just to clarify the cards um, that show up because uh, the cards that showed up are a little bit problematic so um, give me just a moment here I'm trying to figure out where I should even start so let me talk about this yeah I, I, let's talk with the sword energy because this is your element so we have here eight of swords okay uh, feeling like you're kind of stuck in this place all right like do I move left do I move right it's, it's like a chess game if I do this what's my opponent gonna do if I make this move what's the, um, the 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 upper management gonna do 
if I do this, what's my um, colleague going to do? So I feel like this is heavily, heavily workplace related, where there's a lot of information coming through and you're not sure which information is truthful and which information is like appropriate to act upon upon so i feel like there are a lot of structural changes here we have the tower so lack of uh, movement lack of information and massive restructuring that's all happening around you and we also have the devil somebody is behind the scenes pulling the strings okay um, but I feel like this is a necessary evil. This situation has to happen in order for us to create an environment that is a lot more fruitful, where people are accountable for the work that they do, where people start like uh, uh, stop behaving like automatons and just, you know, do whatever they're told. Um, people need to take initiative and, you know, think for themselves, act for themselves. And to be, I, I want to say, like, less dependent upon, you know, upper management or even de uh, dependent upon information that's uh, filtered in from the top down and learn to think for themselves. So I feel like there's a situation here that's um, you're not 100% comfortable with. And I wish I could say that, you know, by the end of uh, April, the situation is going to clear up but i feel like the last card that we have here is the nine of swords and the nine of swords is more confusion the nine of swords is still further lack of clarification lack of consensus lack of information that's coming into the picture and i feel for many of you this is definitely work for some of you this is like a change in a very significant dwelling like a home environment or even like a building that you're living in um there might be, you know, um, I'm sensing like uh, there might be noise violation, there might be loud neighbors, there might also be like a situation where you're trying to break out of a lease because this is sort of like something that binds us, okay, like a, a legal contract even, something that binds us financially to a situation. So some of you might be, uh, you're locked into a lease at an apartment, for example, for like, you know, what, a, a year. And then you find another apartment and you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this place, but you can't really break out of your lease in order to move. And then for others of you, it's sort of like, what's my next move? Where do I go? And I feel like you don't want to make the wrong move. You're waiting for a pay increase. You're waiting for a promotion. You're waiting for, you know, like the, the, the work situation to really kick up and, and pick up so that you can figure out you know like uh, what's my financial future going to look like so i feel some of you might be in a situation where you're piecing together multiple jobs in order to make ends meet okay we have here the four of uh, pentacles this is what people call the miser card this is like counting your pennies this is saving up for a rainy day this is kind of like the hoarding process where we are being uh, really careful with how much is leaving our bank account how much money is coming in itemizing things as well as anticipating further down the line there's going to be a huge payment there might be repairs on home on property sale of a home um, repairing a home in order to be able to sell it for an acceptable price and I feel like many of you are, are very very cautious here some of you could be very very cautious with your money because you are plan planning or implementing a major major trip saving up for this big trip as well as saving up for buying property so I feel like there's a lot of changes uh, structurally happening around you and especially in your environment okay and I feel like you're waiting I'm, I'm seeing some people even you know waiting for a recession waiting for a market to kind of like I don't want to say crash because that sounds so fatalistic but like waiting for property value to drop so that you can get into a really cheap property like buy a really really or multiple properties um, or some of you are just like 
thinking about the financial uncertainty in the market right now and you're just like i'm not spending I'm, i'm doing a spending freeze just so i can save up which is very very practical and very very good but there's overall through the spread there's this climate of uncertainty lack of clarity lack of certainty as it relates to your work as it relates to your money as it relates to where you are going to be in three months in three years are you safe here should you stay here or should you you know start venturing out okay for those of you in relationships on the other hand i feel like there might be this situation here we have here the ten of coins and then the five of coins okay so this is what i would call like divvying up assets okay so some of you could be in a position where you are finalizing a divorce for example and the only thing that's not liquidated for example is like your house you have assets that can't be easily divvied up so you have to sell the property before you can divvy up the assets so we're going from the ten of pentacles to the five of pentacles something being halved okay something being uh, cut in half and then we also have the child support card the six of pentacles which is sort of like if i were to leave this relationship um how much am i going to keep how much is my am i going to have to give my partner or how much is fair the 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 financial exchange between you know um existing partners like what's fair or what's not i feel though for many of you you definitely have a situation here where you are bombarded with a lot of options a lot of suitors okay and what i have here is the ace of um cups so this is the big love this is the great love it comes in with the tower so this is something that happens very very unexpectedly very very swiftly and i feel like the person that you're dealing with for some of you there could be a very big um, earth sign taurus virgo capricorn that might be involved in the picture that might be the new person that's coming into the picture and i feel like it happens very swiftly very suddenly and it's almost like somebody is giving you this declaration of love and you have no idea you know they they might say like oh i really miss you i really enjoy the time with you and it's coming in from a source that is totally unexpected so you might get some you know you might get hit on and um going back to that that woman jogging and I feel like, you know, um, you have a lot on your mind, Libras. You have a lot happening, a lot on your mind. And I also feel like for some of you, this could be somebody that you work with where you're making this calculus, you're weighing out your options. Like, if this is somebody in my work environment, is it safe for me to pursue this person? Uh, do I need to talk to human resources? Is it appropriate for me to date this person? How is this going to work long term? Um, is it going to hurt my credibility? Is it going to hurt their credibility as a worker or as an employee? And so I feel for many of you, you might be dealing with like a higher up that you're attracted to or someone who's attracted to you you might be dealing with a subordinate who you are attracted to or somebody who's attracted to you and so i feel like there's a lot at stake here like it, it seems to me like structurally you have a really really solid career okay you're getting a lot of positive reception getting awards getting recognition a lot of recognition in your work environment and you have a lot of financial prosperity you're climbing and building and creating uh not only you know your reputation but like you're building a lasting legacy in your work environment and then this love situation comes in and you're just like yes i like this person and they obviously like me but is this a safe route for us to take with the tower it's something that is built on a very faulty foundation and so we want to be really really careful about how we tread how we move forward and whether or not it is smart to act on our impulses especially you know with uh work and love like uh workplace romances I, I feel like it's just something that you need to be careful about okay i definitely feel somebody's giving you a lot of attention so we have here ace of cups with the six of coins okay this is the generosity card 
This is uh, giving things out, being very, very generous with their time, their resources, their affection, uh, compliments, uh, for example. So I feel like there is definitely some type of a power differential in this, um, you know, courtship, in this attraction. And then I'm also feeling like you're dealing with someone who's very, very, very generous. And I feel like they've got the hots for you, but you're not really sure if they're nice to everybody, if they do this to everybody, or if they are uh, eyeing you exclusively. So there's a certain amount of kind of like trepidation from your end, okay? So this is the sword energy and this is your energy. It's sort of like, I don't know how to go ahead with this. I don't know how to move forward. I don't know if they're sincere. I don't know if they're like this with everybody. Um, so in, in a way, it's like this offer of love, this really, really beautiful gesture, the attention that they're giving you, the, the love and the compliments that they're showering upon you, the, um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is, they're, they're, they don't say things unless they mean it, okay? Because with this card here, this is somebody who sees the worth in other people. And then we have here the Page of Cups. This is a very innocent, playful type of energy. And coupled with those two, I feel like it's not somebody that lies or it's somebody that, you know, will try to uh, butter you up or, you know, sugarcoat things. This is somebody who's, who is sincere. And they're very, very sincere in their innocence. They're very sincere with their affection. And they're very, very sincere with their compliments. And I feel like for many of you, it's a situation where there is new love here. Brand new. Somebody brand new. It's not like an ex coming back from the past. Because we have the ace and then also the page of cups. And so it definitely denotes to me like options galore people coming in and i think i felt this um for your april reading it's like the the person that's holding the coffee cup trying to segue into the conversation to be a part of the conversation that you're having with a co-worker or a colleague there's definitely a lot of workplace romance and somebody wants a segue in somebody wants to kind of like wedge themselves in trying to you know find a um find an entrance to kind of like communicate with you speak with you and things like that and then i also feel as well for some of you you might be in a relationship and then somebody is kind of like making a move on you as well okay so take that with a grain of salt and whatever your situation is i feel like there's some guilt here every time i see this card sleepless nights nine of swords guilt dealing with someone who might be a little bit of a nag dealing with some some dealing with some things that you're just like i don't really know what to do about this because i'm conflicted about the way that i feel and then i'm also sensing as well career work things like that is going really well for you here we have the six of um pen this is the six of wands success getting positive reception getting positive accolades being on in the limelight so i feel like for many of you you're in a position where you are doing a lot of presentation you're on stage you're giving a lot of information to other people you're showing other people how to do things as well i'm looking at this little mouse he's got a measuring tape he's measuring and so I feel like you're in a very, very lucrative position. And that's why I feel that your job is very, very safe. Okay. You have a lot of new people entering and cycling through your work environment as well. So that might be where the, the newness, the new energy, the excitement. Um, I do see this element about somebody who's hanging on to your every word, who's like seeing you kind of like the apple of their eyes. And they're in a position where they're being very, very, um, open with the way that they feel about you it comes fast it comes like with lightning speed you're not going to know what hit you and so for singles especially for the month of april it is a a very very transformative time for your love life okay for those in relationships too taking relationships to the next level solidifying some things um, possibly changing, you know, moving from one apartment to a bigger apartment. So if you live alone and now you're in a relationship and you're just like, there's talks here about 
traveling together, moving in together, creating a bigger space, adding more people to the family. Pregnancy, I feel, is very highly indicated as well. So you have a lot of things that are happening and I feel like you're restructuring many, many, many areas of your life in order to accommodate all of these changes. And you know, change always brings about trepidation. It always brings about like, um, a, a certain level I feel of anxiety okay and that's what I'm sensing here a lot of trepidation but also a lot of excitement a lot of exciting things that are coming into the picture for you and so you're really on on display and I also feel like you're erring on the side of caution which is good okay I feel like you're holding your feelings close to your chest uh, you're not wanting to make the wrong move and you're being very very methodical about the things that you do But I feel like this is going to be you know pretty much the continuation of the beginning of this um, month where it's like a lot of jo uh, love offers that are going to be Kind of like oozing their way in. Okay. I, I see this kind of like fog lifting and it's just everybody is really um, front and center ace of cups here um, it happens very fast it happens very suddenly um, I'm drawn to the three birds you know giving her messages of love and she's got this cup out and she's like nope this is the only thing that I want so I feel like some of you definitely have your eyes on a specific person and you're waiting for this person and this there there's definitely some mutual reciprocity here okay give and take the balance coming back into the relationship um, so I'm seeing a lot of um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in particular a Capricorn. I'm also seeing as well fire sign and air sign. So fire sign Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, as well as actually the, all all of the signs are here. I'm seeing fire sign, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I feel like the fire sign comes in the strongest because I feel like they're promising you something that is very sturdy and in a time where things are in flux and you're dealing with a lot of structural changes, you might gravitate towards like the, the, the earth sign because they're kind of like the pillar of stability in your life right now. And because of that, you are feeling like, you know, that's, you gravitate towards it because it's something that's missing in your life right now. Um, the restructuring that's happening, I feel like some people in your work environment are going to be let go, okay? And then I also feel like if you're working on a contract basis, there's going to be an upping when it comes to fees, when it comes to your check, your paycheck, like you're, you're increasing in your worth and your value. And I feel like your employers are going to see that if you're working like self-employed, for example, um, I'm seeing like overhead costs with this 10 of coins. Um, unanticipated or unaccounted for overhead costs that you uh, hadn't planned for. So for example, electricity bills, water bill, internet bill for those who are running a business or even like inventory, you know, things like that. So just uh, keep these things in mind. There's just a lot of changes right now, but I feel like these things need to happen right now so that we can take care of it. Okay. The Aries energy is very, very good for getting things uh, going fixing things, uh, starting things, taking initiative. And so I feel like um, this might be the prime time to do it because, you know, if we move into the time of Taurus and then later on Gemini and then Cancer, you might be a little bit too scattered or too, too afraid to make these big overhaul changes and restructuring in your own life, okay? So roll with the punches. Everything, the, the dust is going to settle. The dust is going to settle. And I feel like these changes that are coming in, they are going to be a lot more transformative in a very good way, okay? So just hang in there, all right, Libras? For those of you who are looking for a reading, and if you are looking for a reader, I have included a link in the description box below for a psychic. She is based out of California. Her name is Bridget. She's phenomenal. I highly recommend that you get a reading with her if you're looking for a reader. And... Um, just hang in there. I feel like, you know, coming into uh, the end of April, when we shift into the time of Taurus, the situation is going to look a lot better. Okay. So I wish you the best Libras. Take care of yourself and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.